and this is probably one of the biggest mistakes I've seen done, China started doing it, and now it's been bled over here, and I'm seeing it done more and more and more, and it's terrifying. We see a VFD being installed literally inches from the drives, okay? Why a VFD would be installed in electronics enclosure with the CNC drives that are going to be, once again, sending and receiving signals to your motors, I have no idea where this is coming from, other than people are thinking they're making their system neat. Let me tell you what you're actually doing. The VFD, and let's just break it down to what it is, it's essentially a power supply for your spindle motor. Okay. Now, the thing you have to understand is, is that you are looking at what we are going to generate when this unit fires. And of course, a spindle motor is simply going to draw amps up and down based on the resistance it's put under. It's basically just a regular AC motor. Okay. The EMI goes up and down, and this unit emits large amounts of it. The most it will emit of the entire system because, again, it's drawing the most power. Most of these are three-phase output. So once again, once you install this unit inside the proper electronics enclosure, which this end user looks like he's using, it's a steel cabinet here, you are basically going to have a Faraday cage which is encasing all of the electromagnetic interference when this unit is on, when that door is shut, and it's basically trapping it around your drive.